Many of the masterclasses that we, that, that we run are for individuals, others are for, are for people who are going to work with teams, others are around the culture of the organisation. So we can very much defi de define in those three areas different ways in which we work with people. So if we're working with individuals, what we want to do is to help them to understand what does it mean to be really effective as a coach. And, and to get beyond the basics, the, the, the typical coaching course would take, give them, say, the GROW model, um, which, is, which, which is supposed to, to, to stand for goals, reality, opportunities and will. We usually say it stands for, for get rich or waffle, because basically it's about, you know, it's very much like riding a bike with stabilizers. It doesn't actually work outside of very simplistic task-related areas. And so it's about giving them the confidence to move, become a more mature coach, to actually have a much wider portfolio of techniques and a, and, and a mindset that actually allows them to relax and, and, and be a coach as opposed to doing coaching. So that would be at the individual level. Now, when we're talking about team coaching, um, most of what we see called team coaching is team facilitation or team building or something like that. Team coaching is a very deep look at how the team functions, how the team collectively performs. And so what it helps the team do is understand the interactions between people, the dynamics, the alignment of purpose and goals that they have, and how they, how they work together, the norms of behaviour. So all of those things can be, can be tackled within a team coaching framework within a, a day or a two days, helping people to understand what's going on in this team. And then to create a team, a, a coaching culture, You've got to have a strategic plan for doing this. And the we're able to use the research that we've done to show what works and what doesn't work. Um, and basically to step back and say, OK, where, where, where's the fulcrum for all this? And one of the things we've discovered, for example, is that actually trying to do big programmes, very expensive programmes, where you triple down training for people from one level to the other, doesn't work. Waste of money. But what does work is actually focusing on small areas, particularly teams that want to change. And if you, if you create a coaching culture within a team, you get a much bigger bang for your buck and much more impact. Um, one of the things that we found, if you just train a line manager and send them back to their team to, 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 to do some coaching, not only does it not work, but it probably ha it, it puts the whole coaching process back for a great, great deal of time. Not least because it, it typically takes no more than three days for them to go back to the behaviours they had before. So when we're talking about team coaching, it's a different issue in diet time because we're now trying to look at the undercurrents within the team itself and how you make the whole team collectively work more effectively. And so what we tend to do there is, is, is focus on things like, is everybody actually aligned to the same goal? Do they, do they have the same priorities within those goals? How do they work together? How do they communicate? How do they, they manage the team reputation? All of these kinds of things are meat and, meat and, and drink, if you like, to, to the role of being a team coach. So we either work with the team as a whole in a masterclass, or we train people to be effective team coaches.